Okay, here we have question number eight from October, November 2013, paper four, variant one. I've been asked to answer this question. Sarah spends X dollars on pens, which cost $2.50 each. And she also spends X minus $14.5 on pencils, which cost 0 0.5 cents, uh, dollars each, sorry. The total number of pens and the number of pencils is 19. Write down and solve an equation in X. Okay, so we've got to find basically what X is, which is the amount that she spends on pens. Okay, now when they give you a question like this, you have to try to find a way to link all the different bits of information together. All right, so what they've told us is the total number of pens. Okay, they've told us about the total number of pens. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to link this question together. The total number of pens and the number of pencils is 19. Okay, so the number of pens and the number of pencils is 19. So they've told us how much she spent on pens and how much the pens cost each. How much she spent on pencils and how much they cost each. With that we can work out the number of pens. We can say the number of pens Okay, the number of pens is equal to... Now, if you think about it, imagine you go to a shop and you spend $10. Okay, and, uh, you know, you buy something like, a, um, let's say, pens, and they cost $2 each. How many pens will you be able to buy if you have $10 and you're buying pens and they cost $2 each? Well, of course, you've got to see how many times does 2 fit into 10 be five five pence right um, it's just simplifying the numbers to make it a bit easier for you to think sometimes it's difficult for people to think in terms of letters so if you transfer it into numbers just to get the idea okay of the concept then you can apply that to the letters that we have here so it says she says she spends X dollars so that's the total amount she spends over 2.5 that will tell you how many pens she bought altogether and the number of pencils number of pencils number of pencils well she's spending x minus 14.5 dollars and they cost 50 or 0.5 uh, 0.5 dollars each so 0 0.5 okay so that's dollars and dollars that's dollars and dollars you've got x over 2.5 is the number of pens X minus 14.5 over 0 0.5 is the number of pencils. And they told us that the total number of pens and pencils altogether is 19. So I can say that X over 2.5 plus X minus 14.5 over 0 0.5 is equal to 19. Okay, so I want to solve this equation. So what I can do is I can, this is like an algebraic equation. Uh, one of the ways you can do it is to make the denominators the same, okay? If I multiply both top and bottom of this by 5, I'll get 2.5. 0 0.5 times 5 is 2. So if I multiply both the top and bottom of this by 5, I'll, I'll have x over 2.5. I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying just this equation, both the numerator and the denominator, to make an equivalent fraction. Th that becomes 2.5. I'm not multiplying both sides of the equation. I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator of this particular fraction by 5. It's like 5 times the numerator and 5 times the denominator. I haven't changed its value. Okay, I haven't changed anything else here. So this is going to be 5 times x minus 14.5 and that gives us 19. That's the number of uh, pens and pencils altogether. Okay? Total number of pens and pencils is 19. That's right. That's the pens, that's the pencils. You add them together, you get 19. So now they're the same denominator. I can write it as one big denominator, 2.5. I have x plus oops, x plus, and I got 5 times x, which is 5x, and 5 times minus 14.5, which is negative. Okay, let's just calculate that. 5 times 14 is going to be 70. I think it's going to be 72.5. Let's just make sure. 5 multiplied by 14 
point five gives us seventy two point five. That's right. So you get seventy two point five. And that's equal to 19. Now I can multiply both sides by 2.5, multiply this side by 2.5, and multiply that side by 2.5, and then I've got rid of the fraction. So these will cancel out, and you're left with x plus 5x, which is 6x. I can simplify that. So I have 6x minus 72.5 is equal to um, 19 times 2.5 that's going to be 38 plus 8, 9 9.5 let's have a look where are we where are my calculator so 19 times 2.5 19 times 2.5 that gives me 95 over 2 which is 47.5 so yeah, 47.5 now we can add 72.5 to both sides so x is going to be 47.5 plus 72.5 so just add 72.5 to our last answer plus 72.5 and that gives us 120 and so x 6x equals 120 so x must be 120 divided by 6, which is 20. So x equals 20. x, remember, is the amount that she spent on hens. Okay? So we can say x is equal to 20. Now, a very, very good idea in this type of question, just in case you made a silly mistake somewhere, is to see if your answer makes sense in the context of the question. So the number of pens was x over 2.5, which would be 6 over 2.5. Okay, what does that give you? 60 divided by 2.5. That gives you 24. Hold on, does that make sense? X was, no, sorry, X was 20. Sorry about that, X was 20, not 60. Okay, X was 20, why did I put 60 there? Okay, 20 over 2.5, that, that didn't make sense. 20 divided by 2.5, sorry about that, it's 20 divided by 2.5, that gives you 8, so there's 8 pens bought, okay, and then you've got x minus 14.5, which is 20 minus, let's go back here, 20, let's put it in a bracket, 20 minus 14.5, close the bracket, Divided by two point divided by zero point five. Okay, that's this twenty minus fourteen point five divided by zero point five, and that gives us eleven. Okay, so we can see it, it makes sense. Eleven plus eight is nineteen. Four. Eight pens and eleven pencils according to our answer. So we can check to see if it makes sense, and it does. Okay, and it does make sense. So there we have our answer to this question. It's just uh, you have to try to find a way to link the pieces of information together into an equation. So what's the link? The total number of pens and pencils is 19. So we can look to see to find how we can work out um, the number of pens from the cost of all the pens okay, and the cost of how much each of them cost. You divide the total cost by the cost each, you get the number of pens, same with the pencils. And you add those together and then you have you know that's equal to 19 so you'll be able to link that information together into an equation which we can then just solve using what we learned about algebraic fractions and there we have this answer to this question